Make it live, fool. Let's get <clears throat> live up in here. What's up, Clubheads? I'm Neil. I'm J Dog. <sighs> it's that time again. It's our time of the month. <laughs> it's our time of the month. December Loot Crate, the Explorer theme. We're doing a live unboxing here on the Balding Plebs tonight. <laughs> Just because we thought, you know, we're kind of getting known for this total no bullshit approach. We thought, hey, let's uh, let's do it. Let's go on there and give it to them. Now, in the past, we've had some decent loot crates. I'm not going to go out and say they've been incredible. There have been a few really good loot animes and a few really good uh, loot gamings. But for the most part, loot crate for us has been a bust. It has. Um, so what... Now, this is the last crate you're going to get. This is the last crate I'm going to get unless we get the announcement of a really, really <laughs> incredible loot anime. Like, the last one we got from loot anime was, like, 10 out of 10. It was really great. And then the last loot gaming we got was pretty good, too. 7 or 8, I think we gave it. But uh, for the so, most part... our So is it, what was your price point for this? Like, <clears throat> 10 or $11 a month after shipping. Okay. So, so 10 or 11 It was, it was $34 for the three months. Okay. What so, is it normally? 20 uh, 60, a month? 60, yeah, no, yeah, it's like 15 or 20 a month with shipping. Okay. So, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but it's also, you know... I feel like a full-price subscription to Loot Crate is a huge rip-off. Well, you know, it's funny. We've got some viewers here tonight with us, and uh, some of them came to our channel, found us, simply based on our no-bullshit reviews. That's right. And, um... It was funny because I was hanging out, uh, well I wasn't hanging out, I was working with Dealer today and I was telling him, I'm like, you know, J-Dog and I have built our image on a no bullshit approach. And whether it's right, whether it's wrong, whether it's um, something that everybody will agree with, sometimes it's a little bit against the grain. Yep. And we were discussing how the first time we really went against the grain was the first time we really saw people respond to us as creators. That's right. Um, do I want to become certain YouTubers? Absolutely not. But I do want people to know, hey, there's other people, there's other opinions out there other than, oh my god, I love this game, it's so good. Like, when you really should be saying to the person that asked you, it's really not worth $60. That's right. Wait for a $15 sale. That's right. Don't buy it day one because it kind of fucking sucked. Like, the problem is most people aren't willing to do that because when you do that, Hordes and hordes of people jump on you. They call you a hater. They trash you. They trash you because you didn't like their favorite game. Well, J Dog and I have started taking this no BS, no bullshit approach, and um, it's been great for us. Uh, we I don't like to say I feed off of hate because I don't like hate. I think hate can only breed more hate. I don't think it is something that I want to. Um, I don't think. Uh, hate is something I want to foster. I think hate is not something we should promote. But when people bring hate to the channel, when they bring hate to us, what it says to me is, you invoked a reaction out of me. Whether or not it's a great reaction, I still got them thinking about something maybe they wouldn't have been thinking about before. So that's a lot of the reason behind our no BS approach. Uh, you don't always well, like to I hear... Well, I mean, it's not just for that, though, too. It's because a lot of the times... The way I feel doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be reflected in mass, right? Yeah. And I keep thinking to myself, am I the only person that thinks all these people out there that are talking how great all this stuff is are totally full of shit or what? So that's really, there, that's there, really me. Or know? they're really or they're really pushing certain games or pushing a certain game agenda. Uh, uh, again, no no political implications there, but you know they're pushing a certain game agenda. Like yeah. like you know we always support these guys, these guys, these guys, and these guys. And once in a while we'll throw in an indie game to make it look like we're not totally full of shit. Mm -hmm. 
you know. So we kind of came to the point, uh, J Dog, where you and I are just like, you know what, fuck it, we're just gonna say what we really think. You know, sometimes I'll sit down. It was funny because I just had this happen to me the other day. Yeah, I know, really long, drawn out intro for a fucking loot crate unboxing. But anyway, I just had this happen the other day. I was recording a game, and I was thinking to myself, why aren't I having more fun? Why aren't I? Why? Why isn't this? Come on, get in frame. Why isn't oh, this? Friend? Why isn't this better for me? Like, why do I feel bored? You know, I was actually starting to to feel bored during my gameplay. And, uh, you know, Dealer and I talked about it today. Dude, if you're not genuinely interested in the game you're playing, you're not going to like the game you're playing. Uh, so, it, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to, like, to address that to some people. Should we address Warframe we, quick? We'll address it in a moment. Okay. I see the question, we'll address it in a moment. All right. For me, like, it's something, something somewhere, and I, I bought so many games, hundreds of games on Steam, and I played them once or twice, and I don't play them anymore. Well, why don't I play these games anymore? Because they fucking suck. <laughs> they're just not good, or they're mediocre. They're not. They're not. Uh, they're not a, a, a talent players. They're B and C and D and F talent players, and they never should be sold in the store in the first they're place. They're Brett Hundleys. They are. Yeah. And I like them or hate them. It's reality. Get good. You know, and the problem is, when all you tell the developers is, God, you know, I fucking loved your game. There, nothing about it I didn't like. You're not doing them any favors. That's right. You're stroking their ego. Somebody comes in and tells me, oh my God, I love your videos. You're so nice. You come off as such a nice guy. You're not doing me any fucking favors. Tell me what you didn't like. What did I do wrong? Do, you not, do I not look at the camera enough? Do I not address the people? And of course, I'm speaking from a business sense right now for our business. Do I not look at the camera enough? Do I not address the camera enough? Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Don't always tell me what I'm doing right. It's nice to hear that. It's good to have somebody come on here like Pants or like Hermit and say, Guys, I love your videos. It's the reason I found your channel. Like, that warms my heart and it makes me feel great. But every once in a while, I want somebody to come on here and say, You know, I think you missed the mark on your last review. I think you missed something and you should have talked about this. Damn. Good point. I'm going to make sure next time I do a review that I make it a point to hit that. Because you can always better yourself. Exactly. Just like you can always make your content worse, you can always make your content better. So, for me, yes, I like it when somebody tells me they love my videos and it makes me so happy. But every once in a while, I do want somebody to say, hey, I would have liked to have known what you thought about X, Y, Z. Next time you do a review, and don't call me a balding virgin. That's going to just get me to say F off and then delete your comment. What I want you to do is tell me what I didn't do and then say, hey, next time, could you do this? And the answer is always going to be yes. Absolutely. Because that's what, that's what it takes. And that's what it means to really produce your own content and not just be a sheep we were talking about it on the way home tonight we no can, sheeps on the channel there are no sheep allowed <laughs> hey if you want to like a certain game if you want to like halo if you want to like dragon age and if you want to like call of duty three of my least favorite series of all time if you want to like them be my guest and tell me about them i want to hear about them i'd like to know more about them but that doesn't mean i have to like them and i have my reasons for not liking them <laughs> right or am i wrong or am I totally wrong? Am I crazy? Well, I think Pants makes some good points up there talking about how sometimes I think developers are pushed into making games that they don't love. Uh, you could see, you know, a game that reminds, uh, something that reminds me of, uh, remember when uh, Gearbox made Aliens Colonial Marines? <laughs> I try not to remember that game. <laughs> Do you remember that game? Alien Colonial Marines? You could tell, like... Hermit, Gearbox. you have my word. I will always save you from bullshit, and you'll never have to worry whether or not I'm telling you what I really think. Uh, you could tell Gearbox wasn't wasn't interested, or you know. But here's here's these here's these big uh, thank you. Here's these big interviews talking about how this is going to be part of the alien canon. Yeah, and I was so goddamn hyped. <laughs> I was jacked because I love aliens. I mean, you literally could have shit into a bag and had more class than that fucking game had. <laughs> Sorry. I bought the collector's edition day one. Yeah. I, I was in that game for five minutes and I went, fuck, this is shit. 
<laughs> oh, I was so mad. Uh, yeah. Oh, it was so bad. But the, that's the type of... I think I think it's it's noticeable, right? You can tell. But it, like, those, those but interviews... Should, but the, the thing is, you're right, though. Like, they shouldn't be making a game of that shit quality and then going and talking about how great it is and how it's, like, the next piece of the alien puzzle and all this shit. Which you we should have been talking about was how... Um, uh, Gearbox was missing the mark, and they had no fucking idea what they were doing. And they should have scratched that and just released Alien Isolation, the best alien game ever fucking made. That thing is terrifying. Yeah. So oh, anyway. my heart still hurts from my playthrough of that game. Time to do some loot crate. I mean, dude, when we when we when we oh, we gotta talk about Warframe. Okay. Oh boy, here we. Oh god, here we go. Okay, I'll say this about Warframe. Now, we will probably do a more in-depth review of this game. We're not reviewing Warframe But we right do now. need to play it a little bit more first. I know Hermit wants to see us do a 35-minute gameplay review, like where we only play for 35 minutes and then review it. You know, this is what we do. Well, we've already played it for three hours. I mean, yeah. Three-hour stream power stream last night, by the way. Uh, Hermit was saying at the end of the stream last night, I looked exhausted. I was exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the thing about Warframe... Probably, it's probably fun one with of the friends. yeah one of the better free games I've actually played. It's fun with friends and it sucks alone. Um, and I thought the graphics were good. Oh, they're awesome. I thought for a free game, they're great. You know, the actual movement and controls were excellent. I really like that. It, your character moves really fast. Uh, he's very responsive. But I don't know if there's enough depth to it. To make me need to play it. Now, it was fun with APK. It yeah. was. APK's fun to play he's with. He's a rock star on that game. He's a, he's just ultra-powered. So if we got into trouble or we got up against enemies that were harder, he bailed us out. For the most part. So we never got frustrated because we were playing with him. And that's something we have to keep in mind when we talk about the game. Now, granted, it's a free game, right? So, I mean, it's not really a bad thing if you go get yourself a copy of it and try it out for a while but would i invest money in the game and i think the answer no, is answer that don't say that yet. save that for the review all right well we'll save that for the review. anyway another thing i wanted to talk about about warframe make them want it is games that don't have a defined end to me almost make me feel like i'm Wasting my time. Like I'm like I'm going up a never ending mountain. And I hate that feeling. I hate feeling like there's no end game. Okay? Sure, Dark Souls was a hard game. Let's talk Dark Souls in comparison. It was a hard game. It required some grinding, right? It required some farming in Dark Souls. But there was an end game. You knew when you could beat the final boss and you could say, I completed the game. Now, we could get into talking about New Game Plus and other things if you want. But for the most part, you could say there is an actual end to this game. And with Warframe, I'm not sure if I see that. And so, like, I see the never-ending mountain in Warframe. I see Warframe being once you've beaten every single boss, gotten every single Warframe, every weapon, and every Prime, then you've beaten the game. Yeah, and then they release another update. That's how they keep you playing. Exactly. To increase the odds of you spending actual money. Exactly. And that's, that's that's my entire issue with it, right? For not being a completed... It's not a completed project. Yeah, exactly, Data Hermit. So I, I'm seeing some of that stuff in it. And again, I've only played three hours, so I can only speak from what I've played. The actual game itself, from a uh, technical standpoint, as far as the way it moved... Now, it got a little glitchy when we got out in the open world... I think that's new, but the actual missions and stuff, I thought was good. Awesome. I thought it really was good. I thought the actual combat and the was was awesome. And I, I had a lot of fun with it. It reminded me of a mix between um, Borderlands and Destiny. Yeah, yeah. There was some definite influences from Destiny, just with the way you pick missions on the different you know things. And but your character, I thought your character moved a lot better. I love that. I love that the slash yeah. dashy movement. I love that. Oh, so cool. Kind of like a, a Ninja Gaiden style almost. So there was something Except better. It, it had that. It had fluidity to it. But I, I feel like it's a never-ending mountain, 
And that, that is something I don't personally like. Um, when I feel in a game that I can't get to the end or that there's no point in, in grinding because the end is never going to come, we lose interest. I lose quickly. interest, yeah. Yeah. But again, free game, and for being free, it's decent. And again, we did have somebody to play with who could help us out, and we didn't get stuck grinding right away. Yeah. So depending, I mean, if you're trying to go through that on your own, you're going to spend lots of hours at the start of that game grinding. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Or I, you're going to buy a more powerful or you're gonna spend, it. Yeah, you're going to spend money to, on it. So I think if you could get some friends playing it together consistently, it could be a good time. But you'd all have to dedicate to it. So, Which is something we just don't have the time to do anymore. You know, I don't know, yeah, I don't know how dedicated I can be to Warframe, especially with Monster Hunting coming out and things like that. You um, know? So I don't know if I can dedicate enough to the game to where I would really say I'd spend money on it, personally. Before we uh, so before we get into this unboxing, I just want to say, uh, if you guys are going to be around tonight, not too long from after we end this video, I'm going to start up another stream. I'm going to be streaming The Last of Us Remastered tonight. Uh, it's a game from PlayStation 4 that I have not beaten, and uh, it's one I do want to try and complete. So I'm going to be starting a new game tonight on The Last of Us Remastered, and I will be streaming that live here on our channel tonight. All right, well, I'll watch a little bit. And remember, drunk stream tomorrow night. Oh, my God, that's going to be off the chain. What are we drinking? Are we just doing Makers? Oh, we're doing that butterscotch. Well, hell, we are. I ain't doing butterscotch all night long. I'm going to do it. <laughs> we'll do Makers. But anyway, let's get into the new bullshit review of the Loot Crate from December Explore. Uh, this crate got delayed a little bit due to a t-shirt uh, hiccup with Loot Crate. Now, there's been a lot of delays with them lately. I don't know what the deal is, and I've also seen a ton of negative sentiment uh, toward the Loot Crate service in general, online, Facebook, social media. So and that's where we draw all of our opinions from, is what's online, of course, because we don't form our own opinions. Just oh, wait, or do we? We do. Oh, okay, That's, I wasn't sure. Which is why some people have come and subscribed to us. Oh, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if we were going to be Just, going you know, <laughs> and like, I, and so we've been doing these reviews over on my figure channel, Friday Night Figures, and I've been wondering to myself, I can't be the only person that's disappointed. J-Dog can't be the only person disappointed with these crates. So, like, I see stuff like that, and I'm like, okay, we're not the, we're not crazy. When are we doing that Dauntless video we were talking about? The uh, Dauntless Sucks, the Founders Alpha, a total waste of $80. Yeah. Not the question mark, exclamation point, discussion topic, but the actual statement. Yeah. We can do it tonight if you want. Maybe we'll do that. You guys be looking for that one. You wait till we get on. You wait till we till we shoot on Dauntless. We'll just go throw up a new cover art after this video is over and start, start a new stream for it. All right, let's do this. Come on. All right, Loot Crate unboxing. No bullshit. Here we go. Hermit Pants, you with us. Let's do this. This is has a potential to be my last Loot Crate ever. Well, let me say this about Loot Crate. Here's what I don't understand. As somebody like myself, and you guys out there too, right, have limited disposable income, right? Mom and Dad probably don't buy you your Loot Crate subscription. You know, you got bills to pay, you got food to buy, you got, you know, right? You got to watch your money. I think that's a fair statement. Yeah. So... When I go in the loot vault and see all their shit in there that's only a couple months old, right? And they're giving away shirts for three bucks. Hoodies for six. Hoodies for six bucks. Speaking of which, I'm glad you brought that up. I have a loot vault order coming and we can do it on this channel yeah. too. So why, why on earth would you pay $15 or $20 a month for a crate with a shirt and like subscribe? Light. This is what I can't understand. And subscribe every month. $240 a year commitment. When you could pick and choose the shit you want when they dump it out of the vault. For dirt cheap. And that way you don't have to take all the crap. We like the loot vault. But we would... I don't think we'd ever recommend a loot crate subscription. Not unless you get like 50 to 60% off on it. 80% off maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so, here we go. You Just... still don't get... You still get too much crap you don't want. You're right. You're the right. vault is where you want to be. Yeah. All right, let's open this. December of 17, explore theme. Let's do it. j Don. first item, grab and go. I'm going to get the shirt. <laughs> I'm going to get the shirt. <laughs> I don't really like Destiny enough to care. <laughs> ah, Destiny. Here's what I have to say to this. Are you ready? 
Didn't they give a Destiny shirt already? Yeah, you got it. It's a night shirt. <laughs> Trash. You gotta love Destiny. God, dude, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Hold on! Hold on! Are you ready? <laughs> oh, shit, dude! Oh! They better send your ass a free fucking crate! <laughs> is it different, though? <laughs> They better send you a free fucking crate. Oh my god. <laughs> Go ahead, take it out, open it up. I am sorry, but seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is a fucking thing! <laughs> Dude, what in the world? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, dude, what the fuck? Wow! Careful. My PC's on this desk. Do it, it's okay. You can no. do it. I'll keep this one. Yeah, leave that one in the box so I can at least <laughs> resell it. Oh my god! Let's just go through the rest of this box. <laughs> no, you'll love that. That's real useful. Well, honestly, it's the most useful thing you've gotten all year. <laughs> and I like this other stuff. What? I like that. I like comics. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you want me to open? Mm-hmm. Hey, it's Batista. Yeah. I won't open this, but this it's is a cool. Calendar. This is cool because it's a comic and J-Dog can read it and it's not limited edition. Yeah, I like this. Now, the, uh, the comics I do like. I really do. I do like that. Uh. <laughs> what did you miss? One we, mystery we have, drop! We got a mystery drop from Loot Gaming. It just happened to be something I have already. Oh, no. That's just a way for them to clear out their loot vault and and have a, and a sad excuse to give you some other shit. But you just got that last month! Yep. <sighs> they didn't tell me it would be the same thing. <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, I guess you can't be mad if you it said a mystery loot drop. But jeez, dude. Wow. Hmm. Two big daddies. Okay. I might have maybe I overreacted. I don't know. No, you didn't. I was tripping. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, some weeks ago. Not many, though. That was last month, right? Yeah. I was like... It no, was it was December's Loot Gaming or November's Loot Gaming. Oh. Okay. <sighs> okay! I'm sorry. It it triggered me. You you didn't do... You didn't react improperly. That's my reaction, <laughs> but way worse. couldn't believe it. <laughs> just... Here's what I say, everyone. You guys watching, let me just be straight with you. Don't buy Loot Crate. Do not buy the subscriptions, okay? Because it's just too risky. You get crates like this, and they, they're shit, okay? And <clears throat> this stuff right here, they'll probably sell. They'll probably still um, sell these right out of the Loot Vault for two yep. bucks yep. or something a couple months from now. They'll sell this for three bucks out of the Loot Vault. You know, so, I don't know. Gotta be, gotta be very careful. I, I just, I, I really, I don't like feeling ripped off, right? I hate that feeling. See, I wasn't against getting the loot gaming knowing I was getting that Big Daddy figure because I wanted the Big Daddy figure. Yeah. I don't need a second one. But that's a slap in the face. This is a slap in the face. That's a huge slap in and the, the face. Why can't they know? Who got what? 
right? it's just, they have it's to just, put more effort it's into just it. lack of attention and caring about your about your subscribers it's fucking it's a slap in the face like I understand in order to put yes all, it is Hermit see I understand in order to put all this stuff together like you have to do it kind of mass produced and cheap enough that it makes it. sense like I, I get it. it from a business perspective but then if you do something like this that's a total letdown. Yeah, maybe we'll give it away on the channel or something. We'll do a giveaway. I want it. Oh, fuck off. It's mine. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's the whole point of Loot Crate. Here's the thing. Is to have that interesting, cool, like, something you look forward to every month. That's the whole catch with Loot Crate. Anything. Loot anything. Something you really look forward to. That, that surprise. And you're going to love it. Right? And I don't know how many of those crates I've gotten where I don't feel that way. Like, we don't feel that way when we get them. We don't feel like we're excited about it. And we don't leave wanting the next crate, right? And so maybe we're just too old for it. I don't think we're too old for it because <coughs> maybe. We, we've had some loot anime crates that were awesome. We've had some loot gaming crates that were awesome. Mm. And then we've had way too many of these crates that are just total shite. Hmm. Well, this one's obviously a letdown for us. <laughs> letdown. This is a cool... Letdown's a fucking understatement. This is a cool piece, but we already have it. And we just got it. So, yeah. Ooh. It would have been cool if it was from a crate I missed and couldn't get. Yeah. That would have been cool. That's the thing. Hard to say, guys. No, it's gotta, not. Well, it it's is. It's not hard to it say. It is, though, because you got to be very careful. I, I, I don't want to... Fucking rip off. It's trash. It's one of the big... You Seriously. Dude, did you not see the look on my face when I saw that in my <laughs> yeah. box? You're sitting right next to me and you just see me like, really? <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me? I thought they had mis... I thought they had put the crate together wrong. Initially. I didn't realize... I didn't. I knew there was a mystery item in the crate. I'm just... That's not a mystery. <laughs> that's not a mystery item. That's called using up the shit they couldn't get rid of in loot gaming because yeah. nobody likes them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. All right. Well... I don't know what else to say about this. I can't buy from wait. the loot vault. They only. don't send me. They don't send me their. They don't send me their uh, loot reviews anymore. After the last uh, one star reviews I gave them, they won't send me it anymore. Because I stopped giving them five star. They won't send me that anymore. I haven't gotten it in months. Yeah. They're sick of hearing you bitch at them. Yeah, because they can't get good. They can't <laughs> do better. I don't know if this video is gonna. I don't know, this video, I hope people watch this video before they decide to subscribe to Loot Crate. <laughs> Do not buy Loot Crate, literally the first title, the first thing in the video. And you get, and again, you'll have all the big YouTubers sitting there saying how much they love these Loot Crates and how much they love this Yeah, because they're probably getting a free subscription. They're getting the crate for free, <laughs> and then they give you 10% off your crate if you subscribe through them and use their stupid little code. It's the same shit you get with video games, dude. Yeah. It's the same self-perpetuating, self-fulfilling prophecy, and I'm so tired of it. Mm -hmm. This crate is a 0 out of 10. The absolute worst Loot Crate I've ever had. <laughs> 0 out of 10. This, yeah, this is a major letdown right here. Cancel we have that. all loot subscriptions <laughs> and fucking riot. <laughs> I won't tell you to burn that place to the ground because then that's, then that's inciting hate and I won't do that. But that is trash. That is <laughs> straight trash. Yeah, this is a disappointment. Sorry. Ugh, fuck you, loot crate. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know what to say. I don't. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Data Hermit. You're right about that. It's embarrassing, dude. I would have rather have gotten a piece of a, a crate of <laughs> scrap metal or scrap computer parts. We probably could have made something out of it. Yeah, it's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, it's embarrassing. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. I don't know anything else to say. No, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry for calling it like it is. Well, it's I'm crazy. sorry that we can't be positive about it and get him to subscribe through our channel and get 10% off. It's great. It sucks. <laughs> like seriously, this is going in the. This is going back in the crate. Like it's embarrassing. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I guess. I'm Neil. Sorry that Loot Crate sucked, but please be very careful before subscribing to Loot Crate. Uh, yeah. Or you're gonna end up with twenty or thirty dollars a month pissed away. Yeah, it's garbage. So literally, I mean, you got you got a half off subscription, thirty percent off subscription. You're still mad about it. Half off subscription, and I I still hate it. 
Yeah. Yeah, Blue Apron, I might actually be able to eat that. I might yeah. actually be able to enjoy that. Hey, at least you can eat it, right? I mean, at least you're going to know you're going to get a meal out of it. I mean, that's why I kind of like... You don't... know what I wish? I wish they would have sent a bottle of lube in that crate so I could lube up before I got fucked. <laughs> Seriously, that would have oh, been God. great. That would have been fantastic. Wow. Well, um, David just... Hermit, Just a Pair of Pants, everyone watching, thanks so much for being here. Uh, Stay tuned, because we're going to do a Dauntless video. Oh, God. And that is sure to set off some people. Just wait for this one. Oh, my God. Amen. Okay, we'll be back in a bit. I have refused. I refuse to endorse Loot Crate. I refuse to say... You know, like, when we... Remember way back, <coughs> not this past summer, but the summer before, we did, um... We did, um... Yeah, maybe we will do a... I wonder if we could do a, we a could. Blue Apron where we get one crate and just review it. We and could. It, let me try to cook. I actually... I can't cook, period. Uh, I suck at it. But I could try a, a, a Blue Apron and see if I could actually do it with their instruction well, manual. Well, we, we did... Um, <coughs> remember when we did um, the very first loot anime? It was the music theme. You got K-On? No. Oh, I don't remember I got K-On like two months ago, finally. The last loot anime had K-On and it had a K-On manga and I was so excited to have it because it was one of my favorite anime ever. But then, <coughs> the when we first did it was the music theme. It was Hypersonic Music Club. The shirt was trash. It was the... Uh, it was the uh, anime theme earbuds, like the $3 earbuds. They fucking sucked. And, like, <laughs> I tried so hard to be positive about it. And I really wanted to because I had signed up for a year. Oh, I know. Doesn't that just put that I horrible signed, feeling in your heart? I had signed up. For, well, I'm, I, I cook. For, yeah. I cook every day. I'm, He's I, a master of chef. He's I'm awesome. very good at it. And I can save him, no problem. Yeah, he can save me. So, uh, But... So I remember getting that, and I subscribed to it for a year. I think there was two crates in the year that were awesome. The other ten were shit. That first month put that put that thought in your heart, right? It was like, and you can't cancel when you subscribe? Once you've subscribed and paid, you can cancel, but it doesn't, you, you cannot get your money back. The only way to get your money, the only, the only thing you can do is say at the end of the year, do not rebuild me. Okay. It was very disappointing. Do not. Subscribe for a year <laughs> under any condition, unless they're going to give you like six years free. <laughs> and even then, you'll probably just get the same shit. <coughs> Bro! Oh! God, Damn. what a disappointment! Yeah, I mean, you can tell, dude. Once you don't, know, once the sentiment's negative, it's you're done. You're you're off. You're lose. You're done. Yep. Uh, that was that was heartbreaking. That was oh. a very disappointing unboxing. Zero out of ten. J Dog, you can rate it. Go ahead, you'll give it a one or a four or a seven, probably, because <laughs> of the Star Wars shit. Uh, I'll give it a two for the comic book, the Star Wars comic book. I like that. That's one thing I like. The rest of the stuff I don't care about. Uh, the duplicate thing was just completely terrible. Uh, that's the worst item we've ever gotten. Obviously, first time we've ever gotten a duplicate, right? Yeah. You know, and here's the thing, Loot Crate. You could come out and say you may get a duplicate. You should say that. Like, you should say it. It's just... What's the point of me buying loot gaming, loot crate, loot anime, then? It's Well, exactly, but you should say it. You should be honest and upfront with people. I mean, just the worst to do that. Because um, that's the main item, too. That's the figure. That's basically what we're going for, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you talk about a way to make sure that people never cro uh, subscribe to both. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, oh, how, do, how do you ensure that people never subscribe to both Loot Crate and Loot Gaming again at once? Do stupid shit like this. You do stupid shit like that. I mean, that ensures that we would never subscribe to both of those at once, ever yep. again. Yep. So, yep. like I said, the only way to buy anything from Loot whatever okay. is through the vault yep when it's on ultra clearance get rid of it sale. we will be doing a loot vault unboxing coming up here after the 10th i think and we're going to do a price breakdown what we <coughs> paid for everything in the, yeah. in the in the package typically some pretty good deals some like six dollar or twelve dollar hoodies some like three dollar shirts so like dude that's that's the stuff i like like yeah. this shirt right here this aj Styles shirt is like a 15 20 dollar shirt normally i got it for three bucks yeah a huge AJ Styles fan. Yeah, I mean that's so, the way that's the way you got to do it. I mean it's the only way to do it. I like shirts like this that I got uh, given to me at, to, at work. Yeah, yeah. So to, we're to we're rock. gonna close this video out. We're actually going to close the video. <coughs> we're actually going to end the stream. But stay tuned because almost immediately after we end the stream, we're going to fire right back up with a no bullshit 
review discussion. and discussion, no holds barred, no punches pulled, of the Dauntless Founders Alpha and our current thoughts of the Dauntless Project from Phoenix Labs. You won't want to miss that. I'm Neil. I'm j Dog. I don't care if you like me. We are the Balding Plebs. Subscribe, become a plebhead today, like the video if you enjoyed it, comment down below, let us know what you think, do you like Loot Crate, do you dislike Loot Crate, I welcome all opinions down below, and we'll see you right here next time for more content like this. GG, ya plebs.